Hi guys, I'm Raval. Today we're going to be discussing applying TDD with PHP Unit and Laravel 5.2. Now, I've actually split up the code demonstration and the theory in this video. So this is part one, it'll have theory, and part two will have the code. So prerequisite. This video assumes that you have a basic understanding of the different types of tests. I did a video on that. There should be an annotation on screen. Click that, and if you don't have an understanding, watch that quickly and then come back. So number two, you need to have a fresh install of Laravel 5.2 on your machine. Number three, you need to have a virtual host set up for your Laravel project. So introduction. PHP Unit is a testing framework. When you install Laravel 5.2, you get PHP Unit out of the box. Laravel already has a test folder with an example test. So let's examine this example test. I won't show you the code first. Let's just get a basic understanding. The example test actually checks to see if you are on the home page with the copy Laravel 5. It utilizes two helpers, visit and see, which are known as Laravel wrappers. There are many methods that Laravel provides us with to write our tests. And this is above the PHP unit syntax. It's just extra helpers to make our life easier. And you can find a list of these uh, wrappers in the Laravel documentation. So what level do we test at? So you can test at many levels. You can test at a unit level, which is testing basic input and output of methods. And you can test even further out at a user level, testing actions of a user. We as developers should be writing tests for as many layers as we can. So workflow of writing a test. So where do we place our tests? This is up to you or your team. It is wise to separate out your tests into different folders. Then you can use each folder and run tests from within those folders. So the reason for that is because acceptance tests take significantly longer to run than something like unit tests. So if you just wanted to run all your unit tests, you don't want to wait for your acceptance tests to run as well. So keeping acceptance tests separate from unit tests helps a lot. So when you want to just run the unit tests, only those run. So naming conventions. When creating your file, use camel case and say class name test. Your test method must start with the word test. So an example test method name is test basic example all in camel case as well what do we do when we're writing our tests exactly we are actually making what's known as assertions assertion means a confident and forceful statement of fact we write out our tests as if we are making statements of how the code should work the tests should read like documentation for our code so that's it for the theory. We're going to dive into the code and that's going to be in part two. So click um, on the annotation on screen or the link below.